hey fam welcome back to my channel how you all doing so today we will be talking about women in their 50s and the struggles they face when dating yeah both online dating and physical dating i mean meeting people the traditional way you get so some of the women they've come online to talk about their struggles they said men are impossible so women in their in their 50s dating they say men are impossible obviously they're making reference to men within their age range those men are very impossible so why do you think men in their 50s or late 40s are impossible when it comes to dating i think for me personally if those men are high valued men i bet you they are looking downward they're looking for younger people to date not older people to date some men said those women are very materialistic some people say those women are looking for women for men that are um, gentle traditional men and um, the, the unfortunate thing there is there is that those men are either gone or they are married they're not single or they're looking for women way younger anyways i'll go ahead and play all the tiktok videos and i'll come back to talk about it but before i get right into that please take a moment to like this video and subscribe if you have to do so so let's get started How old are you 53 at your age have you found that dating has become easier or harder for you absolutely harder why is that less pool men seem to want just one thing i thought i would outgrow that with men but um no they do not they still just want sex even in their 50s yes 50 year old men are they going for women in their age category or younger women they want women in their category but they pretty much go for the younger woman why do you think that is i think they um don't expect that we have a sexual drive and we do and we are vivacious women so it's still the same at your age that it was when you were younger yes absolutely <laughs> okay 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 Right, Maury has weighed in and he says, I'm 58. Why would I want a woman that almost can't control her bladder and has to wear a diaper? This is quite interesting. So you are assuming that a woman over 50 can't control her bladder and has to wear a diaper, although men at your age do not. Fun with this one. I'll give you this. Statistically, they do say that more women than men have bladder issues, but to say any woman over 50 basically is what you've generalized has bladder issues and must wear a diaper is just a little silly and the fact that there are plenty of men in fact i know from my father-in-law my ex-father-in-law he had plenty of issues with incontinence and eventually so trust me maury it will catch up with you at some point in your journey of life maury you're saying you'd rather be with a younger woman because you don't want to have to worry about the older woman's diapers. But you're fine with having the younger woman take care of you and your diapers. And I have no issue at all with a age gap relationship. I've been in one. I have no issue at all. But I will advise you, Maury, that there are also things that can happen. Like, let's just say you get to a certain point and all of your old age stuff starts surfacing. Maybe the hot young thing that you have is like i'm out of here i don't want to be changing daddy's diapers and when your viagra stops working she might be looking elsewhere so not to say not to say that that happens in every relationship just generalizing and being a little snarky just having a little fun with you but in all seriousness there are two sides to every coin so thanks for adding to the conversation have a great night what do you do about dating guys so hard guys and girls when you get to your 50s what do you do how do you date is it all online you by far ask me some of the most challenging questions but lucky for you I'm up for it the topic is the challenge of entering the dating pool in your 50s I'll use myself as an example I have three children two of which who haven't officially launched then I have aging parents that I take care of 
I work from home full time. And when you work from home, you're very limited in the circle of new people that you meet. And dating sites are just not for me. I believe if you want to meet somebody, you have to work at it. It has to be like a goal or a project. With a plate that is as full as mine and other goals that I have, it's just not a priority to take on that project right now. As for a lifestyle that I'm unwilling to compromise, I would say that it's more about not willing to compromise peace. As soon as drama is introduced, it's a hard no for me. I would rather be at peace and be single. I mean, I'm a 54-year-old middle-aged white guy in Central Florida. I should be, you know, right pickings. I mean, I don't live in the villages, but, you know, I still, I should be okay, right? One would think. Not true. Um, what I have encountered so far, and I know it's not everybody, it's just, oh my God, uh, <laughs> some women are just so freaking materialistic. It drives me insane. I just don't get it. I don't, I don't understand it. You know, I understand it. everybody wants a house, you know, be taken care of. Get that. We all want that. We all want that. But if you want to go above and beyond that, nah. And, uh, and you, then you have some women that just say, you know, I just want an honest guy. And you know, they'll be like, I like words of affirmation. Um, I like affection. You know, trust me. Both those things. Gen X kids, we didn't have those growing up. Love it. I mean, we're, oh, you. I mean, yes, that's me. I can do that. I can do that. I like doing that. I'm good. And but then you come to find out that, nah, they they they, they either they don't like your honesty or they just believe not to believe you. Uh, call you a liar. I I don't know. I don't. It's it's. I've been doing it. Oh, not that long. And I think I'm done. I, I I think I'm done. I like I, said, I live in Central Florida now, so weekends. Um, I do have some friends here. Uh, just I'll be the third wheel, hang out with them, go to Disney. Uh, maybe I'll pick up babysitting. I, I don't know. I'll, I'll do that on weekends, and you know I work, I travel a lot. But when I'm home on the weekdays, I'll sit here with my stuffed, you know, sea turtle, and we'll sit there and we'll watch um, war documentaries, and uh, everything will be fine. Everything. Everything's going to be fine, but it shouldn't be this freaking hard. I met a guy last night for a drink, and I hope I can get this in three minutes because there's a lot to unpack here. I'd only been talking to him maybe a day, if that, and he asked me if I was free last night, and I said yes, and he says, do you want to meet me for a drink? I'm like, okay. He asked me where. I told him, and this seems to be the pattern lately for me is where I start talking to somebody, and by that night, I'm meeting them, and I do like like it this way. In the beginning, I kind of was on the fence about it, but I'm starting to see that there are benefits to doing it this way, so I met him for a drink. Um, you know, honestly, I was really having a good time. The conversation was good. He was funny. He had a sense of humor. And I don't know, maybe an hour or so into the date, he put his hand on my thigh and starts rubbing my thigh. And I looked at him and I said, could you please take your hand off my thigh? He's like, oh my gosh, I am so sorry. He says, I am a very touchy feely type person. And when I'm, you know, having a good time and liking somebody, it's just a habit. And I looked at him and I said, it's a little presumptuous for you to assume that a woman's just going to be okay with you doing that. And I wasn't being rude. I was just being firm. And he looks at me and he says, well, you, you don't have to be bitchy about it. And I was like, wow. I got up and this bar isn't very big. I didn't want to make a big scene, but I was not going to walk away from that without telling him how I felt. Single women who are over 50 years old who have been reaching out to me for wife coaching tips, I'm no longer taking them. Don't pay the money through my website because I'm just going to refund it to you. I've had a couple of experiences this week and here's why. Most of you, not all, but 99% of the women who are 53 and older, specifically 53, 55, 57, 59, 61, 64, in those age brackets, 
have been the most challenging for me to coach because the standards are unrealistically high. I get that you're old school and I get that your mom raised you to only interact with gentlemen, but most of the men who do all of the stuff that you're wanting are dead or they're not looking for 55 or 57 year old women. There are some younger men who do that and you, you don't want an old man because he can't perform in bed. Well, the younger men don't want an older woman because some of you have arthritis, some of you have missing teeth, you have gray hair, you have grandkids. Like you gotta be realistic and balanced in your thing. So I made a video a while ago and men over 50 were commenting the type of women that they were interested in dating. And I've compiled the list, which is kind of interesting. And I'm sure women do the same thing, but men, you contradict each other quite a bit. A lot of men over 50 said that they wanted much younger women. However, a lot of men said they wanted women who were emotionally mature. With years comes age, but also maturity. Number two, men said that they liked women who were very active. However, they also said they didn't want a woman who was too busy. Hmm. A lot of comments were about women's physicality. They wanted a woman who was trim, beautiful, fashionable, but also somebody who didn't spend too much time, effort, or money on their looks. There were a lot of comments about women being independent, I think specifically financially independent. However, they wanted a woman who also needed them. And also they wanted a woman who was spontaneous and fun, yet consistent. I'm sure women are the same way, but it seems like there's a whole lot of contradictions in the type of women that the men over 50 want. Okay guys, let's talk about it quite an interesting video they've all given us their reasons men comp a man complaining women complaining the most and all that and also the coach i think that's relationship coach also complained that women and their expectations their unrealistic ex expectations and all that so they said the very first problem is less pool that's for the for the women like the older you get the pool gets narrower you have less men there to pick from when it comes to dating and they said one of the reasons why they have less pull is that those men want to date younger women. Those men are looking for people that are younger. And they said older women have less sex drive. So because of that, they rather go for younger women that have higher sex drive. So women have complained and said that men just want sex at that age and the first speaker said she was really surprised that it's still a thing because when she was younger that was what she experienced so to her it's surprising to see that even at her current age men still want sex or they want to sex i guess a lot of men do want sex but i don't think it applies to all men because some men at, at an older age they want companionship so i think she has to keep searching to find the, the right person for her and then um spoke about health issues the other speaker spoke about how a certain man was saying that he cannot date women of his age range i think he he's in his 50s because they have bladder issues and all that there, there's a lot of um, health issues that comes with age to get with aging so he said he'd rather go with younger people than date older women because of your health issues and i love the way the woman had to remind him that say what you're running away from now you might likely have it later so there's no point using that to shame anyone because he was obviously using that to shame the older women to get so i don't think that should be a thing and from the way he sounded i think he's just after sex because for me i think companionship is better off when you have someone that is within age a, your age range or someone that understands you more matured person because if you're older and you're with someone that is way younger you guys are not on the same wavelength they might be talking about social media and what's going on you yourself you don't know much about social media so there's always there will always be this this gap those struggles either you're catching up or she's trying to to blend to get so it's better for me being with someone that is almost on the same level as you are you guys can stay together cook your meal together read your magazines together crack old jokes together that's for me that's what companionship is all about then i played a video of a man complaining about the women being so materialistic all i got from what he said is, is like the women they want um house they want some certain things 
they want to they want to live a certain kind of life for him he's a gentleman he's not doing bad but those women the women he has met they want a whole lot they want someone that has money more money than he has so to him he has given up he already told us how he's going to live his life moving forward they also spoke about um, we, men having high standards yeah if you have high valued men and especially those men that have been taking care of themselves and still not looking their age most of them are going for younger people because those younger people we definitely see them attractive find them attractive because they're not looking their age so most of those men are going for younger people and when people in that certain age go for younger people that means the pool will get narrower because they won't be picking from the the people the women in their within their age range okay so the last speaker gave us a summary of what a lot of men are looking out for in women they want the men to the women to be active no artificial beauty a whole lot let's play the video again so i made a video a while ago and men over 50 were commenting the type of women that they were interested in dating and i've compiled the list which is kind of interesting and i'm sure women do the same thing but men you contradict each other quite a bit a lot of men over 50 said that they wanted much younger women however a lot of men said they wanted women who were emotionally mature with years comes age but also maturity number two men said that they liked women who were very active however they also said they didn't want a woman who was too busy hmm. a lot of comments were about women's physicality they wanted a woman who is trim beautiful fashionable but also somebody who didn't spend too much time effort or money on their looks there were a lot of comments about women being independent i think specifically financially independent however they wanted a woman who also needed them and also they wanted a woman who was spontaneous and fun yet consistent i'm sure women are the same way but it seems like there's a whole lot of contradictions in the type of women that the men over 50 want so guys you've heard it that's from our comment section the lady said men left comment on what they're looking out for in women that are in their 50s so if that um speaks to you you can look at it and make changes and maybe you might find someone that wants you due to the changes you've made and all that but i know it's really hard not just for the people in their 50s these days it's really hard dating and feminism has been the, the number one thing on the table or oh, feminism changed women men don't want to date anymore there's been a lot of drama struggle debate fight on the whole dating stuff women don't want it to be by themselves and wanting to be by themselves at the same time they don't want men they want men men don't want women they want women they just confusion everywhere confusion everywhere so guys this is all i have to say in this video let me know your thoughts in the comment section if you're wanting to date go out there and keep trying luck will shine on you soon i'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching and bye